month. Well, September is National Ovarian Cancer Awareness Month. And joining us today via Skype is Dr. Pankaj Singhal, the chairman of Obstetric, Obstetric, Obstetrics, I'm sorry, I can't say that today, Gynecology and Women's Health Initiatives for Catholic Health Services. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Um, for having me in the network. And uh, this month is Ovarian Cancer Month, and I'd like to dedicate uh, this time for all mothers, sisters, wives, daughters uh, within uh, throughout the CHS, and all the women that have gone through diagnosis of ovarian cancer. Um, so thank you. Well, thank you. And this is a relatively rare cancer, right? Um, I would say uncommon among gynecologic cancers. This is uh, uh, the second most common, but uh, most deathly. For example, throughout the country in U.S., we have about 22,000 patients diagnosed with ovarian cancer. And uh, ovarian cancer accounts for more uh, number of gynecologic deaths per year. Um, so it is very deathly, very deadly. And it's, it's really second most common gynecologic cancer. It, it is, as you just said, pretty deadly. But is that be, and that is also because it is so difficult to diagnose or difficult to diagnose or for women to even, even know they might have any symptoms, right? So you bring up a really uh, uh, important uh, point is for ovarian cancer, there is no specific symptom. So most of the patients are asymptomatic, means they do not have any symptom that are suggestive of gynecologic cancer. Uh, for example, they may have symptoms uh, such as bloating sensation, acid reflux. Um, they may have feeling full after eating food. They may have nonspecific urological symptoms such as going to bathroom, urination all the time. And none of these symptoms are specific to uh, women's gynecologic issues. For example, menstrual cycle problem, so ovarian cancer, most of the patients have no symptoms, or if they have symptoms, are more related to gastrointestinal uh, issues or more urological issues. And it's really late until someone diagnosed with ovarian cancer. So you're right, there's no specific symptom for ovarian cancer. So for a woman, how, how do we find out? How, how do we, um, you know, what do we do? Uh, my best advice is, is uh, being healthy, diet, exercise, nutrition. And if uh, one is able to do that, you will decrease the risk of ovarian cancer by about 50, 60%. Secondly is um, knowing your family history. The risk factor for ovarian cancer, number one, is age. As women get older, they will develop ovarian cancer. And also family history. If anyone has family members with breast cancer, ovarian cancer, they are at high risk of developing ovarian cancer. So they need to see physicians um, and get screening. Number three, is if someone has bowel issues or bladder issues, for example, they have acid reflux, feeling full after uh, eating food, bloating sensation, gas pains, and um, they have seen gastrointestinal physician, doesn't make sense, they should be screened, they should be investigated for ovarian cancer. Also, if any woman has urinary issues, means multiple times they have been treated for urinary infections, and um, it doesn't make sense why they have these issues, they should be seen by gynecologist or gynecologic oncologist for suspected ovarian cancer. Okay, boy, Dr. Singel, thank you so much. Very important information because, yeah, a lot of those symptoms we may ignore and not realize there's something more serious going on. Right, and because, you know, as we get older, you know, we have all issues. We have issues with bowel, we have issues with bladder that we relate to being getting old and we really disregard the symptoms. So it's very important, number one, is talk to family members, make sure that if anyone in the family has risk, any diagnosis of breast cancer or ovarian cancer, that puts uh, uh, a particular patient at high risk of developing cancer. And that's a patient they need to be careful, see the OBGYN physicians regularly, and if it doesn't make sense, see g one oncologist. Okay, great advice. Thank you so much. Thank you.